Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and today I'm going to introduce to you a cool tool that I've been using lately, which is called Microsoft Clarity. What it does, it gives you insights about your website visitors, your customers, what are they doing, and it gives you more detail than Google Analytics or some of the other data tools, right? The, the, the text data, the numbers, it gives you visualization, and it gives you visualization with two specific things. One is heat maps, and one is video recordings. So I wanna show you a little bit what that means and then introduce you to the back end, see what you think. Um, there's other alternatives online. For example, Hotjar we use actually a lot. Microsoft Clarity is a new tool that I've been using lately, and it's free. Uh, it has some functionality less than Hotjar, Hotjar, for example, but it's free and it works well and it has some cool things, uh, especially with Google Analytics. So let me show you um, what's going on. Okay, so first of all, Microsoft Clarity, obviously I've signed in and I'm going to go to my screen and I've recorded a few of uh, my website visitors. So uh, the, the dashboard and the pages are very, very simple. There's not too much functionality, but it works really well. So let's look at it first of all. So dashboard. First of all, you'll always be able to filter and look at your data based on time frame and then filters, things like the time frame, the types of clicks, the device, uh, pages, and then other things about the browser, the customer, for example, where they're from, what browser they have, which pages they visited, operating system, and which page they've exited, okay? So let's look at this for a second, okay? So I'm looking at the last three days. I can see how many people came to my site, how many distinct users, some have visited again, how many pages per session. These, these things are very similar to Google Analytics. Oh, but now I'm going to start to have more information. So for example, scroll depth, depth. When a visitor comes to a website, do they scroll? How much on average do they scroll? So for example, my visitors scroll about 50%, about halfway down, right? Something like this if you see the scroll bar. Um, their engagement. Okay, you can see dead clicks. Okay, that basically means people that are clicking on places that are not clickable. They're not linkable. They don't link to another page. They're just clicking, for example, you know, here, click, 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 excuse me. They're clicking, they're clicking right here, for example, here, that there's nothing to click on, okay? Rage clicks means they're clicking again and again and again and again, okay? Excess, excessive scrolling, right? Going up and down a lot. What are my popular pages, refers, um, quick backs, right? This means they're going to one page and not finding what they wanted for and quickly going back to the page they came from. The distribution of my browsers, my devices, any JavaScript errors, and then the operating system. So this is a dashboard. From the dashboard, you can take any specific ones and you can look at certain elements, certain pages, for example. You can look at their heat maps or their recordings, okay? And obviously we can do that from here. So let me show you recordings. This is my favorite part of this app. Okay, so you can see session by session, they sample, you know, your visitors. So I can click click here and I can see the video recording. What is the customer doing? How are they browsing? What are they moving? Okay, you can see the mouse is moving here and they're scrolling and they pause a little bit and then they continue on, right? So they're doing something, okay? Now, what can what options can you do here? Let me Let me click here. So first of all, I can skip inactivity, it means if they're not typing anything or moving their mouse, uh, I can just skip the time frame because sometimes you don't want to see a whole visit. Okay, for example, two minutes right here, entered from the contact page, exited the contact page, right? So I can see here there's some lines right here. These are showing specific actions. If you look right here, you'll be able to see the different types of actions, inactivity, clicks, events, uh, things like that, okay? So you see here, they're not doing anything that maybe they're just reading or they're drinking coffee, whatever. And now they're starting to move. You see the mouse on the right is starting to move. They're actually starting to type in the contact form, which is a lead for me, which is a really good thing for our business, okay? And if I skip the inactivity, you'll see it's gonna start to go faster. And I can also speed it up. Usually I like to speed it up here. So you can see, I can understand the visit. Oh, they're typing in stuff right here in my form, great. Now, if you notice, it's masks, it's basically hidden. So in, in the default, which we'll show in a second, you can specify what you wanna hide as far as sensitive data that you don't want it to record because you need to protect your visitor's data, okay? And it filled out the form, great. So that's, this is actually a really good visitor for me. I can also click on more details. I can see where they're from. For example, they're from India, they're using this browser, they came at this date, they've clicked nine times, and they visited all these other pages, okay? For example, here, it's just one page, okay? 
And what I like to do is I like to go one by one and see what my customers are doing. This is really important. What are they doing? What are they clicking? I can spot errors. I can spot common uh, you know, flows. I can improve my pages. These are just insights for my internal marketing, internal teams to be able to improve my website, understand what people are looking for. What are they missing? What are they looking for? I love uh, recording tools. Um, okay. The other thing you can do here is you can look at the heat maps. Okay. Heat maps are basically you specify a URL on your page, for example, homepage right here, and you can specify, see what people are clicking on, right? So a lot of people are clicking here, 3% are clicking, 12% are clicking here. One is here. You see all these clicks right here. If I scroll down, okay, someone clicked here, right? Someone clicked on these ones. You can see which pages and links are popular. Now, obviously you need to start gathering more data, a lot of visitors, look at more time. You can also th see things like scroll and look at the, how the colors change. You can see how many percent scrolled right to the top, right the, on the top. How many scrolled, for example, to 75% down, okay? You can see the colors are changing. Not so many have scrolled. 56% reached this point, 84% again. So you can see all this data right here, okay? So scrolled percentage, you can see that. Um, and you can see here, most popular to less popular. Okay, and obviously you can also change by the type of device, for example, mobile. So it'll show you a mobile view and it'll show you how people click on different devices. I love this stuff. And what you can do is you can, you can change the filters and you can also change the URL. So if I wanna take my contact page, I can just go and find the contact page, okay? Um, these are really, really nice things. And then as far as clicks, you can see actually, you can click here and it'll show you the HTML tag that was clicked, for example, these ones. I love this tool, it's pretty pretty nice, okay? Um, other than that, uh, there's not that much more. The, the main thing that you have here is the settings. So the settings, number one, you can invite other people in your company to view the data, okay, on your website. You can just add them, they'll get an invite, they click, they log in, and then they can go from there. Uh, the setting is, the first time you actually install this, you need to put this code on all of your pages, okay? So you have to do it either via developer or Google Tag Manager, stuff like that. The second thing you can do, which is really nice, is the Google Analytics integration. If you activate it, which I have, you're gonna click Login with Google, and then you're gonna basically specify which Google account you have, which uh, view, and you're gonna click on Setup. When you do that, when you go to Google Analytics, it's basically going to create a custom, one second, let me show you. It's going to basically create a custom dimension here. It's gonna do it automatically. It's gonna ask for permissions and it's gonna make something called Clarity Playback URL. What does that mean? This is a really nice thing. So if we're recording the views of visitors, you can connect that to a visitor in Google Analytics and it'll do it automatically for you. So let me show you an example. Let's say I want to, look at some traffic, okay? And I'm just gonna look at an example, maybe some traffic, and I wanna look at the specifics of the details, okay? So I want to click here on secondly dimension, and I'm gonna add the clarity playback here. Now I can actually see, for example, someone you know that came here from Google Organic, I can actually see the their visit, this specific visit that has, for example, maybe has a conversion or something like that. I can start to segment by anything that's here, as long as there's a recording, it's gonna show me this, okay? So if I click here and I type in that URL, now I'm gonna see that specific, this specific user's um, recording, right? So now I can see they went to the contact form, et cetera, et cetera, okay? This is really nice. So it adds some additional data to Google Analytics. And then the last thing that I wanna show today is about the masking. So by default, you can actually uh, hide certain content on the site, especially things sensitive like passwords and certain you know, forms, stuff like that. So up to you, you need to figure out what you wanna do with your customers. You have to update your customers uh, that you're tracking more information. And if you're not sure, the best thing to do is just do strict, right? Block as much as possible. So Clarity doesn't have any data. It basically doesn't, you can't read much of the content on the site or obviously sensitive things like forms, you can't read anything, okay? Um, that's it basically. Th this is really the concept. Let me know what you guys think about it. Obviously, uh, we'll do videos in the future about Hotjar. There's some more functionality there. This is really nice. been using it a little bit lately on multiple sites and uh, it works well. Obviously, it's free, so price is awesome. Uh, thank you guys. Really appreciate the videos. Let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe. We're going to make more and more videos. Let me know what you're looking for, your difficulties, questions. 
We're here to answer, help, educate everybody, uh, and share information on the web for the mass, for everybody. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.